Hey guys, Dan Heilman back with another Awaken Chaos Era video. We have a patch this morning. We have three new heroes. We have a new lobby area. This looks totally different. This looks a lot more bright, um, a lot more lighting in here. And I'll go over the patch notes in a minute. Let's do my free summon really quick. See if we get anything cool. We probably won't. All right, we got the blue. We got Elson. All right, perfect, beautiful. Um, we got Rick. This is one of the new banner units. I will go through his kit real quick. Let's do one summon for him. Let's do one summon. Let's do one ten pull. See if we could randomly get the new unit without even looking at him. We're just gonna do one ten pull. See what happens. Wow! Wow, guys, I'm so lucky. Look at all those blues I got. All right, well that's that. That's all the summons I got. Okay, beautiful. Patch. Let's go through the patch notes, and then we're gonna look at the new units here. Um, fix the wrong texture of Rick in Augustin. Okay. Is there another? Oh, V2. There's two different notes. Oh, okay. Two different notes. Okay, sorry. Let's go V1 first. Um, content started development, blah, blah, blah. Added one new legendary hero, Rick. He's wood. Okay. Added two new epic heroes, Augustin, Dark, and Hazel Water. Advanced summon rate up for Rick. Three times, like always. Team Arena added the function of swapping squads during squad selection. Okay, that's nice. It's a nice feature. A lot of times I find myself, you know, moving single units around all the time. That'll be nice. We'll see how that works in a minute. Uh, the player will be prompted that the selected hero is not wearing full gear. That's nice. Um, gear is always being moved around, especially now that we have the gear, um, the gear changer, the gear saved gear set. So that's good. Optimize the user interface in the chat system. Okay, that's fine. I don't go in the chat system, but we'll take a look. Add gear set icon in the custom gear pack. Okay, cool. Reduce the red dot notice to avoid unnecessary prompts. Okay, that's good. That's in the forge. Uh, Sky Duel. The attack bonus of Frenzy Effect increased from 10 to 20%. Interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Fixed a bug where Edicris's refracting prism could crash the battle. Are we going to fix the bug where he's not getting as many uh, attacks? That'd be great. They just changed the number of attacks he gets for some reason. Fixed a bug where Florence's ability may cause only one damage dealt. Okay. All right. Fix a bug where viewing the results would crash the interface, okay? Fix a bug of failing to sync to the latest round after reconnecting to battles. Okay, that's version one. We got version two. Let's see what we got here. Fix the wrong texture of Rick and Augustin, okay? Fix a bug where clicking heroes in the settlement interface would crash during multi-battle in the void tower, okay? Fix the problem of going to the wrong interface after clicking on the hero in the chat system. Okay, fix an issue where the player would be incorrectly prompted that the hero was not wearing gear when using a support hero in the select squad. Okay, not crazy patch notes. We got definitely this looks totally different. It's so bright in here. It's like, uh. anyways, uh, let's look at the new heroes. Let's, um, yeah, let's do the, the new heroes first. Let's go to the index. We're going to go to legendary. Um, he was wood, right? There he is. There he is. Little rat. Little baby rat rat. Okay. All right. The animation's pretty cool. That's what he looks like. There's a little Rick there. Uh, he's got a little acorn necklace. He's got some little spikes on his hand there. And he's got a sword and, and, a, and a bushy little tail there. All right. Kind of cool. We don't have anything that looks like him in the game. So kind of, uh, kind of amusing. Let's go through the kit. He's got S attack. A crit, um, average, speed, health, and defense. All right, let's start with the alt. Boost accuracy. Okay, by how much? Deals 150% damage to an enemy, ignores 30% of the target's defense, and inflicts Mark of Doom. The defeat of any enemy affected by Mark of Doom refreshes this character's ultimate. Ooh. The marker counteracts against any use of target's ability. Ooh, that's interesting. This says unique effect here, and I've never seen that before. Does that mean you can only have Mark of Doom on one person? That's how I would read that. So he attacks, he puts Mark of Doom on the enemy, and then if the enemy dies, 
it refreshes his ultimate. So does that mean if you one shot someone, it refreshes or does it not refresh because it hasn't had a chance to put the Mark of Doom? I don't know if it puts it before or after the attack. Um, so that'll be interesting to test if anyone ever gets him. This character counterattacks against the use of an ability by any enemy affected by Mark of Doom while in stealth state. Dealing 100% damage while ignoring defense up. Damage reduction or shield effects on the target. I don't know why he has a counterattack, but this already says he counterattacks. Okay, so I guess this is just explaining the counterattack. Deals 100% damage, ignores defense up, and damage reduction. And shield. Okay. The character cannot be targeted by an enemy and reduces 30% area damage. Area splash damage in the arena. In the arena only. Effect is removed when attacked. Okay. There's Mark of Doom still. All right. Let's look at the A1. Deals 100% damage plus 30% if marked to an enemy and applies defense down for two turns. Okay. That's kind of cool. Um, so he deals additional damage against the marked target as well. Let's look at the passive. Grants stealth for one turn at the start of each round plus 50% crit. Oh, plus 50% crit resistance while stealth. Okay, okay. I was going to say, what? Uh, while he's stealth. So basically, if he's ascended, he cannot be crit while he's stealth. So that's kind of cool. Interesting. Very interesting kit. Um, yeah, so he's a single target damage dealer. He doesn't have that high of damage, but he does ignore 30% of defense. Interesting. Okay. Pretty cool. Ignores some defense. Um, he's a single target damage dealer. Has some counter attacks. Uh, has stealth. Puts defense down. Okay. Decent damage dealer. He is a green unit. We don't have a lot of single target. Eh, I guess we do. Uh, damage dealers. I don't have a lot of green damage dealers built. So that's cool. Um, I probably won't get him because uh, I don't have any summons. At least I won't get him right now. But um, okay. Let's look at the other two epics and see what we think about those. All right, here's Augustin. Of the dark. Doesn't have an animation. Looks pretty cool, actually. Let's uh, let's move myself over here. I love that sword. That sword looks really cool. He's definitely showing some lower back, you know, for the ladies. So that's pretty sweet. Look at that six pack he's got going on with a huge uh, chaos cut across his. Uh, he's got an eye patch and everything. He looks really cool, actually. I like the looks of him. He looks pretty sweet. All right, let's look over the kit. Uh, let's look at the stats first. A health or a attack, very low defense, a crit, um, average health and speed. Uh, let's go with the ultimate first. I always go through the order ultimate um, and then the second skill, then the A1, because that's usually the order they do it in the AI. Um, so that's why I go through it that way. I've had a couple people comment on that, but I do it that way because it usually that determines how their kit works. Because usually they're going to attack with ultimate first, then they're going to use their A2, and then they're going to use their A1. So yeah, deals 180% damage to an enemy, removes a positive effect from the target, restores health equal to 50% of the damage dealt, and grants a 15% defense pierce effect. Max three stacks. Okay, another single target ultimate. Um, get some defense bears. Attacks deal plus 40% damage to light targets and 50% splash damage to other enemies. Interesting. So he deals 40% to light or 50% splash to anyone else. Interesting. Interesting. Um, deals 100% damage to one enemy and applies unhealable for two turns. All right. So this is a 100% chance to put unhealable as long as you have enough focus. And they will receive zero healing. It does say excludes lifesteal. I don't remember it saying that before. That's cool. 100% damage. That's fine. Counter attacks with this character's ultimate upon taking non-critical damage. Whoa. Counter attacks with this character's ultimate upon taking non-critical damage. So you probably would want to put... Um, Dragon Scale set on him because it reduces your chance to get crit, right? Or no, it or does it reduce crit damage? Counter attacks with this character's ultimate upon taking non-critical damage. Cooldown one round. Reduces crit damage taken by 30% as a passive. Okay, uh, hold on. I gotta look real quick. 
Um, I gotta look real quick. Truth is always hidden. I made a promise to my people. Take 30% less damage from critical strikes. Oh, okay. So that is just, um... Reduce crit damage. Okay, so you could probably uh, does not stack with similar effect types, so that probably will not work with him, as it said, will not stack. So I don't think Dragon Scale is going to work with him. Let me read his uh, exactly again. Sorry, let me go back in there. Passive. The the yeah, reduces crit damage taken by thirty. So this probably will not stack with Dragon Scale because Dragon Scale says does not scale with similar effects. So I would go ahead and assume it does not. But it's like having one built into him. Um, interesting. So if he doesn't take a crit, he counterattacks with his ultimate. That's really cool. So what you might want to do, though, is you could build him with some agility. I know agility was just nerfed, but you could build him with some agility. And that would mean that um, he wouldn't get crit. So that would be interesting. Um, okay. Kind of cool. Where's our other epic here? We got one more epic. That looks like her. So Hazel. There she is. Let's look at how she looks. Um, what is going on with her boobs? She's got a boob holder on. It's really holding those boobs. Interesting. She's got some low-waisted uh, pants there. <laughs> she looks cool. She looks cool. I, li I like a lot of the designs they do in this game. Um, the graphics are, are pretty cool. I like her staff a lot. All right, Hazel. All right, she looks like not an attacker because um, she has A tier speed, C crit, and average attack, defense, and health. Heals a team member based on the amount of this character's max health. Okay, so she scales on max health. And she has poor health, so that's interesting. Uh, applies max health up to the target for two turns, plus 20% health. Okay, interesting. Heals a team member. Damn, her ultimate's a full down, four turn cooldown. It only heals one team member. Heals a team member based on the amount of this character's max health. Are you saying that it actually heals for her entire max health? That'd be pretty crazy. Um, it's a single target heal only, but it's a huge heal, I would think. Heals a team member and removes all negative effects from them. Healing scales with this character's max health. Okay. Heals a team member and removes all negative effects from them. Okay, so she has another single target heal. This one's on a three turn cooldown and it removes all negative effects. This one just says healing scales with this character. Doesn't it usually say like heals for... Deals 100% damage to an enemy and heals whichever ally has the lowest health. Healing scales with this character's max health. Again, you want to build her high max health. Unfortunately, she has pretty poor health to begin with. Um, interesting. Deals 100% damage to all enemies upon four consecutive team attacks to one enemy within the current round. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, inflicting speed down to the target for two turns, applies stun to the main target for one turn with a 60% chance to inflict stun on other enemies for one turn. Wow, that's a mouthful. Um, it looks like it's only taking one cooldown off the ability. Applies stun, four consecutive... Inflicting, sp oh, this one also, wait, inflicting speed down. It's throwing me off because the text size changed, so I can't line it up. Uh, with the current round, inflicting speed down to the target for two turns, applies stun to the main target for one turn with a 60%. Okay, so it's identical besides the cooldown goes to two rounds. Okay, upon four consecutive team attacks to one enemy. So that should be every, all enemies upon four consecutive team attacks. Four consecutive. You would think you would only have, only have three consecutive team attacks. Unless it includes hers. Maybe it includes hers. This is weirdly worded. Um, and it deal, inflicts speed down and applies a stun. Interesting. I don't know where I would use someone like this. A single target healer. It might be quite a large heal, but um, interesting. Okay, her max health is pretty bad to have all of her health, all of her healing scaling from health. 
Don't know how I feel about that. The kit's okay. Two single target heals and then one every time she uses her A1. It's interesting. Interesting kit. I don't know where you would use a blue healer that has super crazy single target heals. Interesting. And the cooldowns, four turns, three turns. Heals a team member based on the amount of this character's max health. If I go to Blackhorn, what does Blackhorn say? Heals all team members based on the amount of this character's max health. Okay, so it's worded the same as Blackhorn, except for Blackhorn's all enemies. Okay, um, Blackhorn also has S tier health instead of B tier, so you can scale it a little bit higher. I don't know how I feel about that epic. Um, I don't think she's going to be super strong. I don't know where I would need just all out heals and basically nothing else, so that's interesting. Um, okay, what else did we want to talk about here? All right, we'll look at the chat, and then we'll look at saved gear sets, and then we'll look at 3v3. Okay, here's the new chat. Okay. It's better. It's definitely better. Um, I, it looks a lot better, that's for sure. All right, that's fine. Now let's look at the saved gear sets real quick. Let's see what they did with that. Gear, gear, manage gear, custom. What are the symbols that they said they added? I don't see any symbols. Maybe I have to save a new set or something? Let's um let's go try to save a set that I don't have saved yet. Who don't I have saved yet? Um, I think I don't have her saved. Let's save her set. Um, save. Said something about symbols. Let's see if I can use spaces now. Can I use spaces now? Oh, I can use spaces now. No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> okay. That they said I could use special characters now. I figured a space was included in that. Tashir Tanky. I don't see anything that looks different to me. Um, I see nothing that looks different. Okay. I don't know. I don't see anything that looks different in there, in that interface. So that's that, I guess. Um, and the last one is in this interface um I said I can swap an entire team oh, okay all right that's fine that's fine that's it that's it that's it for the patch guys that's it for the patch um this one's a little bit um less than normal but that's okay that's okay, we got three new heroes. None of them are crazy. The new legendary seems pretty cool as a damage dealer, as a green damage dealer, but uh, other than that, nothing game breaking in the new update. It's very much brighter in this uh, in our little tavern area. But uh, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the game and all the new patches. They've definitely been pretty consistent on giving out new heroes and new patches. So that's been pretty cool. And that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like and sub button. And there'll be more Ace content, as always, on the channel. So have a great one. See ya.